My name is Veronica Ellis and I am a first year core member for the Chicago Northwest Indiana region. I teach sixth grade science at Marie Saucedo Scholastic Academy. Every single day at school, after we say the Pledge of Allegiance, on the intercom, there are always two students who lead us through the Saucedo Pledge, which is, I will be respectful, I will be responsible, I will be resilient. At Saucedo and beyond, I will always be my best. So resilience is a word that comes up for my students every single day. When we first left for the school closures, my students weren't quite sure what information to take as fact. I had emails and messages from my students with a really tangible sense of panic. What are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? How long is this gonna last? Why are we gone from school? So my first video for them, hi everyone. So I wanted to give them agency, think about why certain responses work versus why certain responses haven't been as effective in flattening our curve. So you might be wondering, what is flattening the curve and why am I at home? Given our new situation, it's important to be more understanding and realizing that this isn't the same as school. And so I wanted to bring that scientific content to them in a way that responds well to who they are and what they like. Students really liked the video. They all engaged. I started getting subscriptions to my channel from parents or friends or, or cousins and I went viral a little bit in the sixth grade community I would say. So I wanted to get into an area where we could see a few animals and really talk about what's going on. My bird watching video gave students the tools to be able to identify you know the different animals or plants in a park near where they live. The last few months have changed my role as a teacher in that I was always focused on content, I was always focused on critical thinking and as we've moved away from school, that science content is still there, but to me, that isn't as important as making sure that we as people are doing okay and checking in with my students. It's a different balance of the content that I teach versus the ways that I can really be a support system to my students too. I've been inspired by my students who are really taking initiative and who are taking on new responsibilities at home that are just so different from what things looked like before we left school. But at the same time, it's not surprising at all to me because these are students who bring their all to the classroom and who have made me feel a part of a community that they've been part of for a really long time.